welcome back to our channel guys today we're going to show you how we clean our turkey all right here we go we have a uh, honeysickle turkey from when dixie which is sc grocer and we got it for 49 cents a 49 pound cents. it's a 20 pound turkey so that's good so we, we only paid 10 bucks so there we go now we're going to show you how to clean it first we're going to open the packet packet was lucky to get this turkey it was already defrosted so we didn't have to wait overnight for it to be so we already have it there there's the guts Go, okay so you want to take the little the liver little thing right here out you could always put it back in later okay so you want to take the, the neck okay Oh, and it's on it. It's in the top end. Oh. Take the fat off. Okay. Up here is where you're gonna find the gillets. Ooh. There you go. We're gonna clean those as well. Okay. So, right, but you wanna stick your hand in, and make sure you get anything else that's left in. Just use your hand and rip the rip off the excess. Rip off the fat. See, that's what inside a turkey look like. You just wanna take your clean hand. It out. Clean it out for the most part. Just gonna mostly be like liquid inside of it. Just throw it out. Okay, go back up to the top. It's gonna have this huge excess of skin. You just get a knife and just remove it. There you go. It's gonna look very fatty up here. Okay. Yep, so there you go. And then now we're gonna use one cup of distilled vinegar. Okay. Normally we get it from the Hispanic grocery store or the regular grocery store. That's a good size for like 90 cents. So we'll All put right. one cup of that right, around so the turkey. You have your vinegar. Pour your vinegar over your turkey. Okay, and then we're gonna add some cold water. Not hot. There you go. So we keep washing it off. The vinegar is gonna just clean it. And then we're gonna put the neck in there as well. Just like this, so you clean your turkey. Make sure you stick your hand inside. Make sure the water gets inside. And after you after you clean up your turkey as well with the vinegar, you still have to rinse it off again with because, the water. Because you have to get rid of the vinegar. The vinegar is very overpowering. Put it back in. And then rinse it off. You get the ring salt, the vinegar. And there's your popper. Don't lose your popper. And like 99% of all turkeys should come with a popper, but to, be, to be sure, wherever you buy your turkey from, just ask for extra popper. Or sometimes they just forget to put them in. It does happen, so just your grocery store or wherever you get your turkey from, they should have extra poppers. And it's usually free, unless you go into a sketchy place that they're trying to sell them to you. But most of those places should always be free. Okay. Don't forget to ask for your popper as well. And even to, uh, what is that? The uh, thermometer. The thermometer. To make sure, but normally you have... I think the turkey could be what? 160? Okay, so there you go. Now you want to throw the water off one more time. Ooh, this, this is a big boy. Our That's turkey. how you clean your turkey. There you go. And, and if you for tip, if you just want to do the giblets, you can. It's, I mean, it's the same, the same concept. Just wash them off in the vinegar. But, yeah, but if, if you're gonna do it that way, put it with the turkey and it's less. Okay, so pretty much you just want to stuff it back into your turkey when you finish. 
and then we're gonna season it on our next video of our how we season our whole turkey all right so as always don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and have a wonderful day guys